So let's learn how those skewness and kurtosis get turned into a test statistic. It follows this relatively simple formula here, where JB equals n over 6 times s squared plus 1 fourth times k minus 3 squared, where JB is our jarg bearer test statistic, n is the number of samples, s is the skewness of our data, and k is the kurtosis of our data. Now, if you remember, the whole purpose of the jarg bearer test is to calculate the excess skewness and excess kurtosis, and that's actually what this k minus 3 is. 3 is the known kurtosis of the normal distribution. So if we put in the skewness of the normal distribution, which is 0, you see that the skewness is being adjusted here, and so is the kurtosis. It's just because it's 0, we don't have to show that in the equation. Kind of cool. But something that we're going to want to do is, because of the way that we're going to be calculating our kurtosis, we're actually going to be calculating the excess kurtosis already. So we're going to substitute that k minus 3 with k sub e, being the excess kurtosis. So how do we calculate the skewness? Well, in softwares like ENG Sheets or Excel, it's incredibly easy. All we use is a function called skew, S-K-E-U, and then we plug in our data. But let's say you want to do it by yourself, or in the case of later in this video, we are going to calculate the skewness ourselves, just to kind of see how that can happen. Well, one formula that you can use, and that we're going to use later on, is this one right here, where the skewness equals n times the sum of xi minus x bar cubed over n minus 1 times n minus 2 times the standard deviation cubed. And kurtosis gets a little bit harder, but it can be just as easy if you're in ENG Sheets or Excel, because all you have to do is use the curt function and pass in your data. But like I said, later in this video, we are going to calculate it all manually because that's the point of this series, is to do it by hand, brute force. So the excess kurtosis, you'll notice, KE, is returned by both of these. So the 3 is already subtracted from our kurtosis to give us the excess. The excess kurtosis formula that we're going to be using later on in this video is n plus 1 times n times the sum of xi minus x bar to the fourth over n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times the standard deviation to the fourth minus 3 times n minus 1 squared over n minus 2 times n minus 3 where n is the number of samples, xi is our ith sample, x bar is the sample mean, and sigma is our sample standard deviation. So we can put all of these together and we have our formula for calculating the jarg test statistic. 